Hey, Julie. Yeah, if you are 65 years or older and you haven't pre-registered for the state's vaccine lottery, well, you have just under seven hours to do so as registration closes at, at 5 a.m. Now, we took some of your questions to some of the leaders with the COVID-19 response team here in the state, and here's what they had to say to offer some clarity as to what you can expect. More than 180,000 Minnesotans have registered for the state's vaccination lottery as vaccinations for those 65 and older ramps up over a five-day period starting this Thursday. Those who are randomly selected from the pre-registration list will be proactively contacted starting on Wednesday to register for available vaccine clinic appointments. 12,000 doses of the Pfizer vaccine and 15,000 of the Moderna vaccine are set to be distributed at nine sites across the state. And for those who've already pre-registered, it's now a waiting game to see if they've made the cut. None of the uh, uh, registration slots have been filled yet, and that random process uh, will run at approximately 7 a.m. tomorrow. One of the top questions we've received is if you even stand a chance in Wednesday's lottery and what happens if you don't get chosen. We're not deleting the waiting list. Once you're signed up on this waiting list, uh, you're always going to be eligible for that random process. And what about those with disabilities who can't drive to one of the sites? State officials say you should arrange transportation with family, friends, or neighbors while practicing safety protocols. As for married couples who want to schedule their appointments at the same location, state health officials say it all comes down to everyone having the same opportunity to be randomly selected. State health officials know this isn't ideal for everyone, but they say they're using this as a learning experience. Throughout the vaccine registration pilot, Minnesota will continually evaluate where we can make reasonable changes to create an even smoother experience for the future. Now, if you still need to register, we have posted a link on our website, carol11.com. We've also added more of the questions some of you sent us and the answers from the state on the website as well. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Devon.